Chen Shi is an assistant professor at Yale School of Public Health. He says 5G is a game changer for those who've had a hard time reaching quality health care. With better access to the, uh, to the health care system for people, for example, in remote areas in China, also in remote areas in America. So people usually get access through the telemedicine, but it really need the 5G enabled to faster and more reliable with higher capacity to transmit those uh, information for doctor to make decisions. And also the accessibility really matters because uh, some critically ill patients are not able to move. So they have to stay at home to get treated or get diagnosed. Uh, so this is uh, something that FG, uh, 5G can do uh, to them. It's interesting, uh, you, you know, one of the things I was reading, the Guangdong uh, Provincial Hospital is already working with uh, China Mobile and Huawei to try and get some applications in place. It gets to the heart of what you were saying earlier that, you know, some of these remote rural areas, it's, it's difficult to get quality physicians in there. But now these doctors can be in an operating room and have a physician who's very skilled in another part of the country helping them, basically almost standing next to them in an operating room. That's going to be huge moving forward, isn't it? Yes, exactly right. So, and not only for the diagnose, this is called a telediagnose, but they can do even more. They can guide the surgery and uh, even perform the surgery remotely. So through the 5G enabled uh, uh, connection, so doctors can use a special like glove and operate using the robotic arms to the patient's surgery. And since there's a very low latency and a faster transmission of information, so it's like a real-time surgery. So doctors can have this higher reliable system to perform the surgery in a remote setting. A lot of folks calling this 5G smart healthcare. When do you think we'll actually really start to see this uh, popping up everywhere? Uh, that's a great question. I think we already see something happen. For example, early this year, China already issued some uh, commercial license for F 5G uh, uh, commercialization. So uh, the more commercialized uh, firms, entities will start to go into this market. And one of the things that I think you kind of touched on earlier, but it's worth uh, repeating, is, is this is going to be really exciting because it can provide early diagnosis, early intervention, early treatment, and then the prognosis can be a lot better as well. Yes, exactly, because uh, with uh, a centered uh, uh, diagnosis system, so those diagnoses can be more standardized. So uh, originally, the previously, the, uh, there was a concern about uh, the healthcare system in developing countries is about the quality, the standardization. So the, the quality of doctor really determines the, the quality of the diagnosis. And if uh, the 5G can be enabled further by uh, artificial intelligence. That will even make this more powerful because it really saves doctors' time. Originally, think about uh, the doctors reading the MRI scan of the human uh, brain image, uh, thousands of it, but uh, only a few of them are high risk but the doctors have to spend equal time on each image. But with the uh, uh, 5G and the AI enabled system, healthcare system, the doctors can pay more attention to those high risk uh, patients, which was signaled by the 5G plus AI solution.